Hey everybody, welcome back to www.itvideocoach.com. This is part seven of an eight-part series on Exchange Server 2007. We're looking at LCR replication using mount points. In this particular part seven, we're going to verify mail flow after we've mounted the LCR copy of the storage group using mount points. Very important verification step seven. You can find all my Exchange Server videos on YouTube under tag Grizzamore. That's G-R-I-Z-Z-A-M-O-R-E. And you can find high quality downloads on my website. Just go to www.itvideocoach.com. Welcome back, everybody. This is part seven of an eight part series on how to recover an exchange database and storage group using LCR copies. Uh, make sure that you watch part one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in order. Uh, it's important because in this video presentation, everything was done using mount points, okay? So it's not the only way to do it. You can also use full drive letters and paths, but mount points is the Microsoft recommended best practice. My name is Bill Grismore. Welcome to itvideocoach.com. You can also find these videos on YouTube. My YouTube tag out there is G-R-I-Z-Z-A-M-O-R-E, Grismore. Uh, if you want high quality videos, make sure you download the videos at itvideocoach.com. Uh, you can also find more contiguous clips of these videos I'll have them in both formats, in the part format, uh, also all in one long stream video. Okay, so enough with that. We left off in part six. We had just recovered the storage group. So we now have a mounted database that was the LCR copy. Of course, the copy status is now disabled because we no longer have that other copy out there. So the next thing we want to do is let's see if we can get this to work is we have Ricky and Lucy out there and they lost their... Uh, database that they were pointing to but we have a copy on another uh, we have another copy of their database is now live let's see if they can connect and send mail uh, through the recovered storage group so it's important that you test everything all the way through as much as possible to make sure that you do indeed have things back up and running so we're gonna log back in as Ricky and we're gonna log back in as Lucy okay so we're going to log back in and we just want to see if we can send a message back and forth. Okay. We got the database back mounted. Everything seems to be okay, but is the mail actually working? Is there a service that's not running? Do I need to check my error logs? Or is there something else that happened? You know, what happened when the database actually went down? Ah, see, and there's the, um, uh, there's the messages that we received before. And sometimes those messages will just pop up. Now, if I sent a message before, uh, you know, with that database up and running, it may actually process that message and go ahead and deliver it. All right? Uh, yes, is the database up and running? So you can see that those messages that did not go through when the database is down are actually coming through now. But we'll go ahead and send a new message anyway. So I'm logged in as Ricky. So I'm going to send a message to Lucy. Is everything up and running? Did the LCR recovery work the way they say it should? And we'll send that off. Hopefully we don't get any errors here. And then we'll come over here and see if we got anything. And there it is. And then from Ricky's point of view, we will send a message to Lucy Okay, so coming back to this, so I'm logged in as Lucy, and I'm going to send a message to Ricky just to make sure we have mail flow. So we're going to go back to Ricky. Ricky, is the LCR as good as Microsoft says? Says, says. <laughs> and we're going to see if it comes in. Wow, boom. Just like that. So I guess maybe it is. So there you go. You have uh, mail flow going through. So we tested mail flow after recovery. So that's pretty strong. So we have the LCR configuration from our mount points up and running uh, from a fail from a failure, uh, and we've tested mail flow before the failure, and then after the failure, and during the failure. Actually, we tested mail flow before the failure. We tested mail flow during the failure to see that it wasn't working. We recovered the LCR copy of the database using a mount point, and then we were able to, again, send mail after the mount uh, successfully. So come back for part eight, 
how to then re-enable, last but not least, the LCR copy back to another drive. So when the drive fails and we recover, then we need to turn it back on again. Hopefully I've got another drive on the shelf I can stick in, or maybe the server's got another drive available I can point to. So once I recover, I want to turn LCR back on again, just in case the drive that I recover to were to fail again right away. So I want to have as much fault tolerance as I can. So make sure you come back for part eight, how to re-enable LCR on an active storage group. We'll be right back.